Hey y'all. Hey sweets, mahogany, Dara, chili pepper. Hey rabbit, hey Emily. Hey Michaela, I love you back girl. Hey, hey, hey. Let's see earth signs. I'm in such a real chill mood today. <laughs> okay. Hey y'all. Let's crack a lock in. Okay. Hey Zakia. Hey girl. Oh, my damn deck. Mm -hmm. I was like that. <laughs> damn, I was like that yesterday. I had a lot of energy yesterday. So, hey, y'all. How was y'all day? I hope it was really, really well. I hope it went well. Okay. Let's get you some messages. Okay. Let's see what's going on, guys. All right, it's enough people in the chat to get started. So, you guys will be seeing 818. Okay. You guys will be seeing those synchronicities. Mine was really good. I just lay back for real. I really didn't feel like doing too much. I listen to my body now. When my body say no, I'm gonna be like, okay, well, no it is. <laughs> Me, Empress, I've been channeling a lot of music. I've been channeling a lot of songs. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's going on, guys. There's enough people in the chat. So um, this is going to be for anybody with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in their charts, any placement, wherever it's set in your chart, this, could, this message could be for you. Make sure you all flip and you switch the roles. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't fit for your situation, guys. Thank you all so much for your love, your support, and your donations. And also your super chats. The love and the support never goes unnoticed. I'm sending that back to you guys tenfold, okay? Um, anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages that are on here and on any other um, social media. My little hands. <laughs> and on any other social media platforms. Okay. So let's see what's going on, guys. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm towards Virgo Capricorns and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones are turning back to the sender, block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through, clear, concise, and precise messages for my earth signs, and protect me as I channel the messages for my earthy. So let's see. Shout out to Puerto Rico. My son is half Puerto Rican. <laughs> okay, so let's see what's going on for my earth signs. Messages for my earthies. Okay. So we have adjudication. Somebody could be 30 years old. Okay, or something could be... Somebody could be going to court. Okay, you could be going to court for something here. Or you could be dealing with a Libra. So it says advisor, consultant, negotiation, discussion, final decision, conflict, discernment, moral ambivalent, amb ambivalence. Okay. Let's see what else. Soulmate. En encouraging romantic love. Life partner, marriage, forever person, stable relationship, best friend, feeling safe and secure, instant connection, easy and self-love. Sibling. Mm. 
rivalry, needing support, sharing secrets, being open, leaning on one another, teamwork, looking out for one another, having fun and best friend. What else? So something about your sibling could be significant. Okay, we got sad news. Yeah. Bad news, inconvenient truth, delusion, disappointment, emotional, self-pity, sadness, quarrel, and setback. Seduction. For some of you, you have a karmic soulmate here that slept with your sibling, with a sibling of yours, or there could be something coming out about a child. Okay, that maybe a child is not somebody's here. Child. Hey guys, hey XRP. Mm, yeah, we have seduction, bottom of the deck, ghost. Somebody here is leaving a hoe behind. Somebody's trying to seduce somebody, but someone is leaving someone behind here. Or with ghosts and seduction, somebody could be conjuring up some sort of Jezebel spirit. Or, I don't know. Somebody could, this could be like a trickster spirit, okay? <laughs> that somebody is trying to use to trick somebody or to make them come back or whatever the fuck. Child. Let's see. Sad news here. I hope nothing happened to a child, okay? I feel like the sad news is something could be definitely be going on in court here. Somebody could be taking someone to court. There could be either a child is not somebody's or somebody just slept with someone's sibling. Okay, I don't know. Who is into dark shit? Ooh, child. Mm -hmm. What's, uh... <laughs> Not get to stepping in my Air Force wounds. <laughs> What's this spirit? What's Judication? Somebody here could just be making a final decision on a soulmate or making, they're making a decision to make you their soulmate or something like that. Somebody here could be sad because maybe you guys are getting ready to get married, have children. You're If you have a child, you could be getting ready to, they could be getting ready to have a sibling or something like that. And somebody else is sad about that or whatever. But it's like somebody, maybe somebody here don't want you to have kids and nobody else. It's just like, bitch, you might as well get over it. If somebody ain't going to be with you, who the fuck you think like... No, honey. Hey, love and light. What's this adjudication? Yeah, the Empress. Yeah. Oh, somebody here pregnant. We got Taurus Libra energy. Or this is somebody worst nightmare. <laughs> somebody getting married and having kids with another person. They don't want to have no blood ties to you or something like that. It's like, bitch, well, too damn bad, ho. <laughs> too damn bad. Somebody's a loser. They getting on my nerves. <laughs> they getting on my nerves. So somebody could be pregnant. Okay, I just got chills. Which adjudication with the empress? Or somebody's choosing this empress. This could be you. Yeah, soul tribe here. We have the star. So, yeah, somebody has made the de decision to choose an empress. That's kind of like what I'm getting. Somebody has found their soul tribe. They're getting ready to kind of like, I just heard mend things. So, somebody could be mending things with you or other signs. Because this could be you, child. I don't know. I hope it's you. <laughs> okay. Some of y'all could be seen in a public eye. Or you're just in this really calm collected energy i feel like you're in the energy of receiving you're definitely in your divine feminine energy man or woman you could be receiving your blessings here you could be meeting new people okay i feel like a lot of things are turning in your favor like miracles are happening in your life here maybe a lot of things that you didn't think was going to go a certain way they are okay so this is a good positive card if you've been wishing for a pregnancy i feel like it could be coming through Okay, you could definitely be ending up pregnant or you have a lot of new ideas that you want to share. Wow, the emperor, the ace of pentacles. Oh, there he is. I mean, that, that that's not showing up for no damn reason.
So I feel like wish fulfillment is coming in. Yeah, the person that you're meant to be with could be coming in Earth signs. What's this Empress? <laughs> What's the Empress? Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like too, uh, your hard work could definitely be paying off. I feel like you're very diligent. Your head is strong. You could definitely be birthing new ideas. You could be inventing something or you could be just, um, you could be very inspirational. You could be very inspired by something or this is somebody with you. Let's see Empress with the Knight of Pentacles. But this Knight of Pentacles here, this is somebody that's coming in. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. So your hard work is getting ready to pay off. Queen of Pentacles to the Knight of Pentacles, then the Empress. Yeah, you're getting ready to go from a Queen of Pentacles to the Empress Earth signs. That's definitely towards Virgo, Capricorn. I get Capricorn strong with this. We got Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. Okay. You're getting ready to go from a Queen of Pentacles to the Empress. I feel like somebody's getting ready to come in and really take care of you. You're getting ready to be sitting up here like this. You're getting ready to be sitting up here like her ass. Okay, like I'm dead ass doing a bunch of nothing, living life. <laughs> okay, I mean, some of y'all, I mean, obviously, because I know me, I don't like not doing anything. I don't like not feeling productive. But I'm saying, like, you're getting ready to be made an empress. So a lot of the hard, hard work, I feel like it's getting ready to be on this emperor, whoever this is. I feel like you're automatically a hard worker, and that's why you're getting ready to be the empress. Because you work hard, and you deserve it, just period. I feel like you're you're a healer. You could definitely be welcoming in these changes. Okay, it feels good. Something feels really good. Okay. <laughs> What's that song I'm hearing? What's that song? I can't, I don't know the name of it. What's that song? Y'all know y'all know the damn song. <laughs> I don't know what the hell it's called. Why the hell am I hearing that song? Lay your head, yeah, something. Who, the, who sang that? Hey Virgo love. Conversation pit. That's what the name of the song is. Somebody said lay your head on my pillow. <laughs> I just said that. Like what the heck? Sir, you play too damn much. <laughs> Somebody played too much. So anyways, man. Something not over. The death card flipped in reverse. <laughs> you could be dealing with a Scorpio, child. Something is not over anyways. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> Y'all funny. What's Soul Tribe? So I feel like something could definitely be leveling up in your work too, Earth Signs. You get ready to be sitting on a whole lot of money. There's going to be like a lot of growth and abundance here, just period. I see you pampering yourself, going to get your nail child. Look at your match. The King of Pentacles with the Will of Fortune and the Justice. That's the adjudication right there. Your person, this is like power couple energy. Some of y'all getting ready to be pregnant or this is like ideas that you're getting ready to have with this person. Y'all getting ready to make a lot of money, man. It's a lot of money around here. What's Soul Tribe? I'm serious. Yep, child, the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> the Truth, the Ace of Swords, and this Emperor and the Two of Cups. Who is this? Big Daddy is showing up. They're like, you're not getting ready to sit here and be the Queen of Pentacles. You're getting ready to be the Empress. Somebody is coming through to give you a... Your child getting ready to have a sibling, ain't they? Some of y'all, you and this person only got like one child each. This bitch, whoever this is that's mad about y'all like joining uh, together, they're like, oh my God, this man or this girl's getting ready to have this bitch around my kids. I can't believe it. Bitch, believe it. Like, we kids will be taken care of. Be happy, bitch. It takes a village. Loser ass. Like, what is wrong with you bitches <laughs> that got that kind of mentality? All because the person that you don't want your kids, like, bro. 
Somebody's just dumb. Mm -hmm. They're just stupid. They're just mad because the relationship is over. I can't stand hoes like that. Mm -hmm. I can't stand hoes like that. Like, bitch, get over it. So we got the Ten of Pentacles here. Wealth, abundance, prosperity, marriage. You can ready to be with somebody that's in your soul tribe. This is somebody that you're supposed to be with. Whoever this is. Ciao. What's the star? It's a whole lot of money around here. Yeah, the Four of Pentacles. Capricorn Energy. There's getting ready to be a big turnaround in your finances, or this is somebody else. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. This Aquarius has been popping up everywhere. Somebody's dealing with an Aquarius. Okay. <laughs> Somebody could be Aquarius, Capricorn, Cusper. Or you have Aquarius in your chart somewhere. <clears throat> so, the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like there's a need for you to just like. If you've been saving or budgeting or really just like doing the right thing with your finances, you can ready to go from the four of pentacles to the ten. It's <laughs> like you, you get ready to be good. I don't know. But I'm also getting this is like preserving your energy or holding back or you're you're protecting your energy right now. Cause I feel like spirit got a surprise coming in. This is like having faith. Still be hopeful. Still just, you know, stay ten toes. All right, somebody, what's the what's the star of the four of pentacles? Or somebody still holding on to you or Something. What's the star with the four of pentacles? It's this person. <laughs> yeah, the knight of swords. Uh, yeah. Oh, this is nice. The hierophant and the six of wands and the king of pentacles and the will of fortune and the justice. I don't know. Guys, this is so good. This is so nice. <laughs> so the knight of swords is someone that's a leader. They're taking action. They're determined. There's like wish fulfillment coming in. Something that's that's written in the stars is coming through, just period. Whether it be about your career or this damn person or both. I feel like it's both, to be honest. This is so nice. Let's see, what's soulmate here? <laughs> Empress. <laughs> Shit, I can't help but come out in the cards. <laughs> I can't help but come out. I just come out here. I'll be ready to read for y'all. Shit. I'm in a collective too. But you know, <laughs> I'm going to be quiet. Thank you, Toma. <laughs> What's this soulmate? Y'all need to leave me alone. <laughs> Child of Two of Cups. Aw, that's so freaking cute. I cannot. <laughs> this is encouraging romantic love, life partner, marriage, forever person. This is your person. There's like a reconciliation here. I'd love to see it. Yeah, there's a pregnancy. Okay. Better watch out. You better watch out. You better not. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows. <laughs> good friends will be good for goodness sake. Go, oh, you better watch out. You better not hide. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I don't know. Don't ask. What is the soulmate card with the two of cups? The four of wands. Okay, yeah. What's the, what's the soulmate card with the two of cups? The hermit? Virgo? So somebody has done some soul searching. They have done, they have done some soul searching here. They have. Or this is you. They have done some so old searching. There's a lot of spiritual insight here. <laughs> okay, somebody is really getting some downloads. This person is like, I didn't find my person. Let me get my ass up. Yeah, because that's what it's giving. What's the hermit? 
Yeah, yeah, the Page of Pentacles. So yeah, this person here could be studying something, Eight of Pentacles. I feel like they're studying their path or somebody's like awakening to the fact that they could be into divination practices too. Whoever this is, is awakening to their spiritual path. Okay, this person is researching or analyzing something. They could be reading Tarot. Somebody could be taking an interest in, in Tarot. You could be the reader here, Empress, with the Queen of Pentacles, Empress, Knight of Pentacles. You could be a healer of some sort. But this person, somebody could, you could be a practitioner or medium. I don't know. Somebody here could be looking for a job. I feel like you're going to get it or you're getting approved for something. But somebody is taking on a new skill, a new practice, okay, of some sort. And it's going to bring them a lot of money. Or somebody's like secretly watching Tarot or something like that. What's the hermit with the Page of Pentacles? <sighs> hey, y'all. Three of Pentacles, yeah. It's like somebody is saying that they're supposed to be working with you, collabing with you, partnering with you. This person got Earth and HR too heavy somewhere. That's why you're getting ready to not be by yourself. Whoever this is right here, they have a special purpose like you. It doesn't have to be, they, they don't have to be a reader, but they something else spiritual. Or they, I don't know what the hell they're doing. Or this person got ideas that they damn own. Page of Pentacles. Or they're watching readings to see how to, you know, put two and two together. To make something nice. <laughs> to make something shake. I don't know. But the Three of Pentacles talks about collabing, partnership, working with each other, okay? Somebody putting in the hard work, building on a solid foundation. It's like they see how they can incorporate their life with yours or how whatever you're doing works with what they're doing. I feel like somebody's like really seeing that. That's so awesome. I am freaking, I am absolutely 100% with the shits okay this is so beautiful i cannot believe it the hierophant taurus mm. the hierophant and the two of cups this is marriage some of you guys are getting married okay this is love here for sure this is love what is love baby don't hurt me don't hurt me no <laughs> Child, what the hell? Yeah, the Ten of Cups and the Emperor. I'm telling you, this person about to get you pregnant. You better get ready. You better get ready. Because, honey, somebody here, you finna get pregnant. Oh, my son said, are you ready? Oh, -hoo -hoo. He said, are you ready? Are you ready? Because I'm telling you. This person here, they're not playing. They know you they person shit. They about to shoot the club up. Okay, they ready to shoot the club up. <laughs> y'all about to get y'all club shots up. Okay. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> you can ready to get the club shot up, honey. Y'all getting ready to be. Mm -mm. You ready to be sitting up there like that as the empress. <laughs> Literally, you get ready to be pregnant. I don't know what else to say. Don't be mad at me in the comments. I know if some of y'all too old, then this ain't about that. Maybe this ain't your reading. But somebody is serious as fuck, actually. <laughs> They're serious as hell. That's all I'm saying with this. It's higher from the two of cups. I mean, it's marriage. What the fuck else is it? I'm not even going to clarify. Here they go again. They want to come out so bad. Here you go, sir. We're going to leave you out. There you are. You want to be seen so bad. He like, somebody is coming in to claim you. Like, she said, F it. Let's go. Child, I cannot. <laughs> That's how I feel too, though. I'm ready to have me some more. I'm about ready now. So bring it. <laughs> you can bring it on here. Bring it on here, boy. Mm -hmm. Somebody here ready to, I don't know. This person here, they not playing either. I'm so serious. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. You guys be saying 10, 10. This person here is coming to shoot it up. It's about to be a stick up around this bitch. Okay. I'm serious. She said, who this for? <laughs> Oh, it's somebody here that want their soulmate. It's here. 
It's her. What sibling? Let's see what this is, man. What sibling? The Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles, a new sibling. Somebody is pissed. They like, oh, hell no. Nah. Or somebody's sibling is a fucking clown. The devil, the tower, and the moon. Somebody has found out something about their sister, their brother. Okay, let, let's just see, though. Char, you can ready to get a new sibling? Or a new baby or something? Let's see, though. What's, this? What's the sibling with the Ace of Pentacles? I cannot. Or something. The Two of Swords. Hmm. I feel like somebody's sibling on some fuck shit, though. Somebody found out their sister or their brother, they're a loser. I don't know. Libra Moon here. So somebody's sibling, somebody's sibling is, like, stuck or they had a damn stalemate. They don't know which way to go or what to do or... Somebody trying to choose between two paths. What's this two of swords? Libra Moon? Something is out of stalemate. The strength card. What's the two of swords with the strength card? Leo energy. The page of wands. There's a baby. Oh, yeah. Something maybe about a child that's not somebody's. The queen of cups. There could have been like a spare baby trying to come through. There's a spare baby trying to come through, ain't they? But it's something has been at a stalemate. Until somebody can kind of like get their life together. <laughs> or I feel like that's spirit doing that. I feel like though somebody is finding out good news about something. Let me see. What's this Ace of Pentacles? Somebody don't know like who the father of their child is or something. What's Ace of Pentacles? <laughs> What's this Ace of Pentacles? This could be talking about though having new exciting plans or some of y'all sister or brother getting ready to come see y'all too. This is what I just heard. But let me see. What's this Ace of Pentacles? The Three of Cups. What's this Ace of Pentacles? Three of Cups. Ten of Wands in the reverse. Mm, that sound so loud. Sagittarius. Uh, you know what I'm getting to? Somebody has someone binded. I keep getting that. Like somebody's sacral chakra has been all binded and... and uh, Somebody had to overcome some sort of obstacles here. This is like an energetic blockage. Because I'm definitely getting y'all fertile as fuck. I just feel like spirit wants you with a specific person. They're showing up here, the empress and the emperor. I mean, I don't know. Ten of Wands in the reverse too. Somebody like releasing, somebody letting go of something whatever responsibility so it could have been a child here somebody had extra an extra child here or extra responsibility that they were taking care of but it's not their child it's not their child i feel like that's why this person is so sure i mean they've been sure but i feel like spirit had this person going through a um a, a course of like lessons here that they needed to learn before they can find their person which is you because um there's some, something about this third party Somebody, I can't, this King of Wands keep coming out as a best friend to me. This person could be taking this person to court or somebody taking action to go to court about something. What's this Page of Wands? What's this Page of Wands? It's like something is setting someone else free. Setting someone free. Yeah, the King of Pentacles. Somebody that was taking care of a child financially. What's this Page of Wands with the King of Pentacles? Or maybe somebody getting custody of their child and y'all y'all getting ready to have some sort of blended family or something. What's the Page of Wands, King of Pentacles? Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody here free. This person is free here. Just period. Yeah, there's the judge. There's the, the court case or whatever. Okay, we got the king to the queen of Pentacles, emperor to the empress. Somebody's like in denial about something. Okay, like they don't want to see the truth about some shit. Who sent me $5? Thank you for sending me the five. Whoever sent that. Oh, here you are, Shelby. Thank you. You're so welcome. Thank you for the love, girl. 
I appreciate you. Or that's a man. You a man? Shelby Jean. Shelby could be a man or a woman. So this nine of pentacles, I feel like honestly, somebody here, spirit, somebody here, there's a nine of cups, yeah, and you're a person. I feel like, yeah, this is a pregnancy announcement or an engagement announcement. I'm serious. There's a spare baby trying to come through. Mm-hmm. But there's also something too about somebody not child not being theirs or them getting custody of a child or something. I feel like there's a baby. This could be a boy. For some of you, nine of pentacles is definitely pregnancy. Mm. Nine of pentacles, king of pentacles, page of wands. It's like spirit wants you to be with this person. You, you're not going to be with nobody else, they said. <laughs> Spirit wants you to be with this person. Like, you don't have no choice, really. It's kind of like, feels like that. I, I guess you do have a choice. But it's like you're being pulled back somewhere. You you really don't, though. Your, your, you and your child and this person's child could have met before, like, in the past or something like that. Or they just real close. Okay. This is cute. I don't know. It feels really, really cute. But I feel like, too, somebody dropped an extra responsibility. Or maybe it's they dropped this damn third party. Whoever's giving them a problem about, about a child. Either it's not theirs or it is theirs. And they keep trying to use the child as a pawn to keep them stuck. I feel like that's over with. I'm also getting a spirit baby is coming. And this baby here, they sticking. <laughs> like, they sticking. If you had miscarriages or you felt like you couldn't get pregnant, I, I feel like you are. <laughs> There's also, two. Uh, I'm getting like this this energy of um I feel like this business coming together. Somebody got a good business idea, so do you. Y'all getting ready to put it together. And your business is getting ready to have a sibling. Their business. Y'all gonna put it together and it's gonna be a nice business. <laughs> and I'm also getting that too. But let's see. I feel like somebody getting good news about their finances too. They free. They've overcame an obstacle here. Something is giving someone more confidence. So I feel like with the two of swords, somebody could, is getting ready to face their fears. Somebody is building the strength and the confidence to face their fears and and um make something right in somewhere. Yeah, it's a lot going on right there. What's uh what's sad news? The Knight of Cups. What's the sad news with the Knight of Cups? Three of Swords. Yeah, I feel like it's a third party that's broke, that's heartbroken. They're sad because somebody wants to date someone else or somebody's finally following their heart. Yeah, you see the flowers and the chocolates back there on the car. Somebody's in love with somebody. Somebody's birthday could be around Valentine's Day. So that's definitely, what's that? Pisces, Aquarius. Definitely, okay, yeah. Aquarius, Pisces, Cusper, Knight of Cups. Libra Saturn with the Three of Swords. So yeah, somebody's heartbroken because someone wants to date somebody or somebody know what they want. Some of y'all about to get swept off y'all feet. Like this is gonna be, this about to be something real serious. Okay, this about to be real serious. Okay, what's the Knight of Cups? The Seven of Swords. What's the Knight of Cups, Seven of Swords? Aquarius Moon. The five of swords. <laughs> Somebody mad as hell. Page of swords, the high priestess, <laughs> the six of pentacles, your person. The temperance. Yeah, you and your person coming together, man. Whoever this is, spirit is like, they, you gonna be with them. That's just period. Yeah, that's just period. Aquarius Venus, Aquarius Moon, Aquarius Pisces Cusper, a lot of Aquarius. So somebody's being manipulative. They're trying to win at all costs. Somebody is trying to... I feel like somebody's mad because it's someone, it's someone else is keeping their moves to themselves. What's the Seven of Swords? Ooh, child. Yeah, spirit guides here in the Nine of Wands. Yeah, somebody's spirit guides. Yeah, divine intervention. Somebody's spirit guides are saying, no, if you take your ass back that way, you're in trouble, buddy. <laughs> They're like, yeah, let me walk my ass away. 
Just period. Or somebody's spirit guys is blocking something out. Okay, someone can have a Sag moon. Somebody guys is showing up. I swear, man, once you awaken and once you are spiritually aware of things, your guys step in. It's like they can't really do much of anything. They can keep trying to throw you hints and warnings and shit like that. But if you don't really get it, they got to put different things in your past so that way you can awaken and that way they can go even harder for you, I feel like. Somebody guides is right here. Pushing somebody with the nine of wands. That's like resilience, not giving up, being close to success. So right now is a good time to keep your moves quiet. Seven of Swords. Because somebody's being a Five of Swords. What's the Five of Swords? Who sent me some? Thank you, Mush Mush. <clears throat> What's the uh, Five of Swords? The Eight of Pentacles kind of like came out in the reverse. Virgo energy. So yeah, something is not working. Something is not working. Somebody keeps doing something repetitively and it's not working. It's failing big time. Mm. Eight of Pentacles in reverse too. Somebody could be trying to ruin someone's reputation. They just being a dick. Yeah, because they ass getting ready to go to court or they getting ready to be put up under judgment. But that Eight of Pentacles in the reverse is something that's not working. It's boring now. It's, it's not working so much to the point that it's boring. That means stop doing it, bitch. Whatever you're doing. What's the Three of Swords? Okay, yeah, the sun. They've been exposed already. Leo energy. Somebody's heartbroken that you're you're happy. <laughs> okay. Or somebody's heartbroken about a pregnancy. Somebody's non-committal. The eight of pentacles in the reverse. So it's like it's like somebody mad because they got found out about it. Somebody is pregnant and they cheated and they did all that extra shit. It's like, bitch, you're weird. What's the three of swords? The sun. Yeah, the four swords and we got the moon. Wow. Somebody, I feel like somebody is mad because they can just, they can foresee into the future. They know it's about to come. They just know it. <sighs> mm, someone can have a Libra Jupiter. Something is, is uh falling away off of somebody's sacral chakra. Whatever this third party did, I feel like they ass is done for. <laughs> They're done for. They were blocking a whole lot of shit. Thank you, Live Life. They were blocking a whole lot of shit, man. Something could be... Y'all could be dreaming. Y'all could be having dreams here. So pay attention to your dreams. But the Four of Swords, I feel like, is you resting. You found peace and, so and solace. You found solitude. Or you pray for your guys to show you what the fuck was going on. Yeah, Archangel Michael and Archangel Metatron. <laughs> you pray for your guys to show you what this was and they showed your ass. And I feel like you're over it. You're moving on. And as soon as you do that, your, your twin or your soulmate is here. So we have Archangel Uriel. Illumination, inner power, and ideas into form. And we have Archangel Sandalphon. Music, Earth Star, and Answer Prayers. I love to hear it. I do. <clears throat> so it says Archangel Uriel's name means uh, fire or light of God. And he is the angel that can help turn your ideas into reality. Archangel Uriel can help activate and open up the crown chakra so you can receive divine wisdom with more clarity and ease. He also helps to activate the solar plexus so you can take that wisdom and use it to make positive changes in your own life and the world around you. Archangel Uriel is a powerful angel to work with for those who identify as light workers. So your oracle says it's time to take action on the divine guidance you have been receiving. So for your love and relationships, it says don't dim your light to make others feel more comfortable. Instead, shine bright and inspire others to shine their light also. I feel like that's what you did. <laughs> that's what you did. If this third party is trying to do something to you because someone is coming towards you, I feel like they ass getting whooped. They getting their ass whooped. Your guys are not playing that shit. It says, for your work, share your ideas and shine your light. Be open to opportunities to be a leader of light in your work and in the world. For your home, it says, a light a light and bright home can help you feel lighter and brighter. Clear out the dark corners. For your money, get a clear picture of what's going on with your finances and do your research before making any big decisions. 
for your well-being. Focus on physical fitness to balance your inner and outer power and for your spirituality. Walk your talk and take your own advice. Try yoga to cultivate inner power and meditation to open the crown chakra. That could be what this is. Some of y'all are practicing meditation with the sun and the four of swords. You could be on vacation. You could be going on vacation or you're like outside in the sun, absorbing sun. That's going to help with your crown chakra too. But I feel like you're feeling confident, victorious, free. Somebody is stressed. <laughs> they're so stressed because nothing that they're doing is working. I just feel like that's what they get. That's what you get, bitch. That's what you get. Yes, this was a nice read, Nakia. I'm glad you enjoyed it. 434. You guys will be seeing 434. I like how the messages are becoming more positive. It's like, yeah, we need a break. <laughs> Sheesh. Ooh, you going for Cabo? For girl, you need to take me. I want to go. My birthday is in May too. I'm May 20th. What about me, Bina? You forgot about me? That's crazy. It's, it's a yes, absolutely. Okay, I flipped this side. So, what's yes, absolutely? Critical junctures. Taking a big leap of faith. Major decisions affecting the outcome. Turning points that alter the course of evolution of the connection. I know how, I know now I have control of my life. No one is holding me captive and no one is controlling my circumstances. I recognize the power of my free will and I now choose to be happy. I love it. I love it. Union and in sync. <laughs> Girl, I'm dead serious. I wish I like I wish we actually knew each other. <laughs> I feel like that's what makes it kind of like, you know, but I would definitely go though. No bullshit. Yeah, we have free will. Yes, I'm done cooking. I turned my food off when I was done with water signs. Independently taking action regardless of effects, having the capacity to make their own decisions without constraints from others, period. I love to see it. I want to be able to make my own decisions and not feel bounded by our connection nor the opinions of others. I'm not ready to commit and I'm unsure of what the future holds. Yeah, so this is what this person had to do. They had to really, I feel like their solar plexus is, is becoming activated here. Okay. Somebody too is codependent. This person, the, the person around them is codependent as hell. Somebody don't know how to live their life without this person. We have rebuilding. Yeah, starting over, but better than ever. Moving forward with hard work and communication. Being honest with one's feelings and aspirations for the connection. Exactly. I feel there needs to be a compromise in order to move forward. We both have blamed each other and accused each other of things. I want to heal all of this with you, and I know we can rebuild together. Okay. <laughs> Union in a sink. It came out. Working in perfect rhythm with each other, feeling seen, heard, valued, respected, and cherished, and fully present with that person, mind, body, and spirit. It says, I want to commit to you. I want to hold your hand in sickness and in health. I want to walk into the sunset with you and never look back. I need to release certain commitments and fully commit to you. Child, some of y'all, y'all get ready to get married, like I said. You get ready to get married, like I said. We have inner child healing. So it says, going inside to explore our authentic feelings and parts of us that may have been rejected and labeled as inappropriate or too much by others, especially by our caregivers. Hmm. I feel like... Yeah, we got Virgo. We have fulfilled here. Yeah. I feel like somebody has done some sort of inner child healing. It's this bitch that need to do this shit. They're the ones over here tripping and being mean. <laughs> Whoever this third party is. I have made and used excuses in order to control or sabotage our connection. But now I realize the only way to heal is to is to mend, acknowledge, and forgive my past. Yeah, and, and it says yes, absolutely above that. So somebody has done some sort of work. They've done it. Or they're doing it currently. It says maybe, maybe leaning towards yes. We have triggered divine timing. Mm -hmm. 
Divine timing came back out. Believes union will happen when it needs to. The universe is placing people, things, challenges, and more into your life when you can handle them. Believe that everything in life happens at exactly the right moment. Yep. We have visionary and naughty thoughts. Somebody here is envisioning some nasty shit here with you. Some of y'all can feel this too. You can feel this person thinking about you. Yeah, cosmic love connected in the 5D, regardless if disconnected in the 3D. Intense or strong feelings that they feel are everlasting, powerful, or otherwise indescribable. Child. <clears throat> false flame. So this false ass bitch is trying to get in the way of it. I feel like somebody's trying to turn, like, cut off the telepathic communication between you and somebody. It's just like, bitch, in your wildest dreams, huh? It's never happening. Move on. Move the fuck on. Yeah, balancing. Yeah, something is coming into balance. You could be dealing with the Libra. Remorseful through actionable change. Wants to undo the wrongs and do right by you. Understanding what you put in, you get out. Karmic justice, period. That's under union and in sync. So, honey. Here they come. Here they come. This was your reading, guys. I hope that it resonated. I hope you got some clarity. Okay, like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss my reads. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, Ursa.